Hi, this is Russ from Pro Tools Expert, and I want to show you how you can sync Pro Tools live with Final Cut Pro. And I've come up with this because one thing that drives me crazy, there's a number of things that drive me crazy about Final Cut Pro. It's got lots of great features, but one is I hate the way it does audio. You can work with it, but there are things like you can't do ducking, so you can duck uh, audio because there's no possibility of a side chain. But more than that, for a lot of us who want to cut the picture in Final Cut and do all the grading and everything else like that, but want to do the sound in, in Pro Tools, uh, there's quite a, a round trip that takes place. You do your stuff in Final Cut when you've got picture lock, then you send it over to, uh, to, to Pro Tools, either by using the great application from Marquis Broadcast that allows you to export the XML and then bring it into Pro Tools, but that can be hit and miss. Or you export full length stems out to Pro Tools and then you bring them back in at full length stems and it's a bit messy. So what I wanted to do was find a, a simplified workflow and then be able to basically cut my picture with some temp audio in Final Cut and then do all the good work on the audio with all my plugins live and all the other things you can do in a powerful door like Pro Tools and then bring it all back in at the end as the final mix. So let me show you how this works. The way it works is that you create a LTC timecode and that's uh, basically an audio file and it's just timecode. Now the one thing I want to warn you about is if you're gonna put this in the timeline of Final Cut, make sure your speakers are turned down or your headphones are turned down before you hit play because there's a bit of routing to do and when you do that route, make sure you do that routing right, then you don't want the audio to be hitting your speakers. Because the only reason that this timecode is in the timeline of Final Cut is so that it can be used to drive the sync in Pro Tools. So that goes in the timeline. And then you want to make sure that the audio of your Mac, because that's the only way you can route audio in Final Cut, is sent to the right place. I'm using my Sonoworks system wide on this one, but you basically got to have a spare audio pair of audio channels. You can do that either using virtual audio channels with things like Audio Hijack or, or, or uh, Loop back and all those kind of bits of uh, software you can use. But I'm doing this live by using Sonoworks system wide in the background. And then there's a very cool app, and this is the app here. It's very simple to use and it's called Lockstep. Uh, there'll be a link in the video to show you where to download it from. That listens for the LTC audio that's gonna be now be in the timeline. So the only thing that's playing audio once you've got lock in Final Cut is this LTC uh, audio. Then you choose the same input for this as you have for the output of Final Cut. And then you send the MTC to a IAC bus. Now, if you've never set an IAC bus up before, then go into audio MIDI and double click on IAC driver. If there isn't one showing there, just press the plus sign, call it what you like, I've called it IAC driver. And that's all you need to do, and then that's that. That's then set up. So we can close those windows, and then I send my MTC output on IAC bus. Then you come into Pro Tools, there's a few things to set up in Pro Tools. You come to Setup, Peripherals, and you want to make sure that the MTC reader and generator, we just want the reader actually, is the IAC driver that we've just set up. Then in machine control, you want to make sure that MIDI machine control room is in slave mode there, enabled. That's set up. Then you also want to make sure that you go in, and this is very, very important if you want it to work properly. You want to go to the session settings and make sure that your session settings are exactly the same Time code and sample rate are exactly the same as the final cut session. If they're not, this is gonna go haywire. And that's all set there. And then the last thing you need to do is engage sync, which is this button on the transport here, this blue sort of clock thing, and then it flashes. Now that's listening now. With that off, it won't work. I'll play it you now and show you. So I'll play this. So I've got my picture play back here. This is an interview that was done some time ago. As you see, nothing's happening. So if we stop that again and we now turn it on and then we play from the timeline, you can now see we've got some sync. So this is Final Cut playing picture. This is Pro Tools running live with it. And then I can come into Pro Tools and do all my mixing in Pro Tools now. It works better. Nothing, nothing indeed. I'm going to bring this up the timeline a bit further because one of the things I really wanted to do in Final Cut was drive me crazy is want to do ducking. Now we play now. You'll see as well, it takes a little, it's about eight frames to get pick up on. Wow. 
Well, it's it's not so much chambers on drums as as, as much. And I've not got that music you know, ducking a, using a side a chain. Room. Um, I mean, you know, the, the way the the kick and do all the other things I can do in Pro Tools, and then when I'm when I'm done, reverb, I don't think I simply if I'm gonna put reverb. When I'm done, I simply bounce out my final mix from Pro Tools and uh, happy days. So it's as simple as that. There's an excellent website that can generate this time code we're talking about here in the timeline. And uh, then you can download it for free. But they also have a donation option as well if, you, if it's working for you. And then please make a donation. So there we are. That's how we use LTC time code generated. Uh, Lockstep, that really cool free app uh, to get Final Cut or any app that's got audio on the timeline to lock with Pro Tools. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.